What's up, guys? My name is Mario. My name is Jesus. <laughs> I'm Raul. Welcome, Welcome back, back to the Vive Wells podcast, episode 57. Seven. Hell yeah. 5-7. I five, keep track of it. 7. Uh, we are missing Comadre Proud today. Yep. So, yeah, she's out having a girls night. Bruh. Bro, you know how many girls night this girl has? <laughs> yeah. It's and where's your boys nights? Dude, we get, all we the boys are taking every... care of all the damn kids y'all having. <laughs> we get one every, like, what, four months, five months? Mm-hmm. She's all like, well, why don't you, why don't you just go out with the boys when, when we're out? And I was like, well, because they're taking care of the kids. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no kids, but uh, I'm always working. Yeah. Yeah. Can you guys hear me? Okay. I feel like yeah, my I, mic is I, on. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. Um, but yeah, no. So welcome back guys. Thank you. Otro martes con huevos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, rate, comment, share. You know, they can, uh, add reviews. I just don't know. Where or how that's located on Yelp? <laughs> Google. <laughs> Google me, Martha. <laughs> I didn't know you. Well, I, I know like some podcasts have like like reviews, but I'm not selling this. If you're listening to this and you're a podcaster and you your podcast has reviews, let me know how the how that goes. Yeah, that's. I mean, I don't. I don't think you can do it on Apple. Mm-hmm. I don't know about Spotify. I don't use that. I tried looking on Spotify and I didn't see unless it's like just like the distributor that we're using. Could be. So. We'll look into that. Yeah. We need reviews. We'll create a Yelp or profile or something. Ooh. Five stars up and only. Yeah. If you think we sucked, then move on and they, find another podcast. Just ignore us. Just ignore us. Don't Nothing happened. You didn't see Nothing us. Nothing happened. What the fuck? Um, <laughs> send I, us a message. We'll send you a gift card. Yeah. Anyways, I, I feel like I, uh, I, I, I feel like I owe the, the listeners an apology. For <sighs> what? What'd you do? <laughs> well, episode 55 started off really fucking weird for me. Like I, I, there was a lot going on. I broke the tripod somehow. We had uh, to put a book under it. Just having an attitude that day. Yeah, we, I was. Did we fix that tripod? Yeah, you're Roll welcome. Fixed it. Oh, yeah. nice. You put it. You just figured it out. Yeah. And <laughs> I was having a bitch fit, so I feel like it translated into the pod, and I feel like it was just kind of like I was just there and dull and like amargado todo his el tiempo. He's gothy. Yeah. Listening to his Avril Lavigne. De- okay. Definitely brought the ratings down after having a good pod with <laughs> <laughs> Ian Prince. No, I feel like uh, we all have those days. Um, but I think what helped maybe was take some time off that we didn't record in, I think, two weeks. I think that so. also helps out taking a little break here and there. Yeah. Well, I don't mind, I don't mind not taking... Well, I, I, I was just that, like, moment of... Like, I was heated. Yeah. M- maybe you felt the pressure. Uh-huh. Yeah, and it's like, oh, I got to do this. I yeah. got to do that. Yeah. Just it happens. Yeah. Well, if you guys don't know, we, we record... In my living room, so it's just every time we record, I have to set up, then break it down, and it's a lot. Now that we're we're growing, it's like two cameras, then those are on uh, what the fuck you call it dummy batteries, then all the lights, the tripods, mics. It's just it gets tedious sometimes, and just like, ugh. so maybe yeah. Bow should just let you keep these up full time. I said that, but. You know, the house has to be aesthetic. It has to. Is it? It is aesthetic. It it's looks beautiful. artistic when you walk in. It looks like we're filming a porno every fucking time. <laughs> Pornos are artistic. <laughs> right. Do you guys remember the the first ever time you guys saw porn? No. Um, I'm pretty sure one of my older cousins started showing me things when we were little. Maybe like. Damn, was it Omar? No, it was. Uh, Another cousin. Was it like um, one of those like, hey, you want to see some some titties or? Yeah, he's like, hey, look at these stuff. But the, he was like a troublemaker too. But now what? he's uh he's all grown up, has good job and family and everything. So, <laughs> but uh, it's funny. Saludos, just, primo. Mm-hmm. But it's funny when you think back. Like, I was like, damn, he he was a bad influence. Was it at your house? No, it was at his house. When I I would used to stay at his house and and my my tia would babysit us. So how old were you? That's what I was trying to figure out. Maybe I was like six, seven. God God damn. damn. I don't know. Like, yeah, six, but he was like seven, five God? years older than me. So that. Oh. Mean, so, so you can see, you can see why. Yeah. He would. I thought y'all were the same he fucking was in a different age. age. No, he was way older so than me. Maybe a middle schooler. Showing Probably. a was kindergartner it, porn. <laughs> was it internet <laughs> porn or was it like a like? Maybe a, I wasn't six or five. Maybe it was a little older, but like it was. I feel like it's around that time then. Was it internet? You were really young. Was it internet porn or was it like a nudie mag? Pretty sure it was uh, internet stuff. I wouldn't. I don't recall. I'm pretty, I just remember twenty five years ago. Young, I don't bro. remember what it was, but I do remember him showing us something. 
I just don't remember vividly oh, what it was. Was it a lot of you? It was like everybody? Oh, me and my brother. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn. What about you, Rudy? My first time? No, I don't remember the first time I watched porn. I, I, I remember the first time. You like, jacked off? Not jacked off either. <laughs> like, like the weirdest thing gave me a boner, though. What? It was like the scary movie scene where she's getting molested by the ghost. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude. Oh, yeah. You know, know which one? Yeah, you know which scene. Scary movie too. I don't think I remember that. Bro, when sleeping. she's just, like sleeping and the ghost is just going in on her. Fuck and I then can't. that girl becomes clingy to the ghost after. Yeah. You remember? Dude, I haven't seen scary movies in so long. Oh, dude. Put it on. They're hilarious. Those are classics. I used to watch them like constantly, like on repeat. I remember I showed my grandma once a scary movie too. She was like, Que feo esta <laughs> esto which, one, esta which, one is the, which one is the one where they're making fun of the exorcist? That's it's the that one. second one. Oh, so that's, that's, that one. The, that's but just that's the like intro. the beginning, yeah. 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 So, so what happens, that's when they all go to the house mm-hmm. and then like shit starts happening. You, you know, the whole Epstein meme, the guy with the wheelchair, See. it's like Epstein showing up to the, or no, no, no. Uh, who, who's the wheelchair? Stephen oh, Hawking. Hawkins. Stephen Hawking showing up and it's, they made him a meme. Oh shit. They brought that one back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those are, I think that was, do you remember? My, the first time watching porn. Or seeing something or along introduced, those lines. Introduced to porn. I think it was that uh, that weird kid that we had in our class, Norman. Oh, you yeah. You remember him? It's showing us stuff. They yeah. Went, they went to Catholic elementary school. So maybe school I was a, a lot older now. then, now that I think about it. <laughs> yeah, we went to Catholic school, but it was it was grimy, bro. It was We definitely were not children of God. I remember I had some babysitters, too, that... Had when to, Titanic damn. came out, mm. they just showed you. They're like, "Oh, don't tell your parents that I'm showing you this." And but they <laughs> were, just, but it's just them making it. <laughs> it was, no, it was the girls. Uh, it was some girl babysitters, and then she was watching Titanic. And, and then, you know the scene where they come, she comes out yeah. naked. I think maybe those were one of my first few memories of like seeing a girl naked. How old is your babysitter? Uh, yeah, yeah, she, she was like probably teenager. five, six years older. Was she hot? Don't uh, I don't remember. <laughs> Wink twice. If she was hot, I mean, she, she was a girl. I mean, <laughs> she was a girl. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. Not that much. Yeah. Not that much older, but she was older. But yeah, yeah. Those are like my. That's as vivid as I can get. Yeah, but, I think my my first time was. Yeah, he he showed me. I think he had like a nudie magazine. But that this guy was fucking weird, dude. Like he he, he would like. He would like jack off in the middle of Ooh. class. He always oh, had. Yeah. I was Bro. Like, he, yeah, he'd have like an elementary? It was like middle, middle school. school. Damn. He was, was like Catholic school. Yeah, he would like show his boner, but like through his pants, like like over his maybe like mira, 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 mira. And like he'd stand up and he had a fucking Bro. boner. That's when we're all discovering ourselves. Because it wasn't just him. There was a couple kids <laughs> yeah, that were there doing that. Yeah, there was a that. couple fucking weirdos. Bro, what's And then wrong it was like, with hey, you guys, guys want to see it under the microscope? And uh-huh. um, we were just dumb kids. And we're like, yeah, let's see it under the microscope. What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> we're in Catholic school, man. Yeah. Bro, what? We're in a bubble. Jeez. And the worst part is, or that kid got expelled from our school because he was touching girls. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. It was, wow. Yeah, it was fucking... Yeah, it was weird, a weird situation. Time. Weird time in our lives. I think I, I was just so small too that I couldn't comprehend it. Like, we like I knew what was happening. Know. Like I just didn't. I, I did, wasn't old enough to know. You know, this is wrong, wrong. You know. Yeah. We're I don't just, know. Yeah. And then that. Bro, and that school is crazy. It was a seventh grade or eighth grade. We had a cholo in our class, and like he like he was like basically OD'd during like morning prayer. What the? F- yeah. It was, it was a wild times back then, bro. It seems like those, uh, what are those like military schools that they send people to? What are they called? Is it military school? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's military, military school. school. I was trying to think of it too. I was like, huh. Where they send you off because like you're just Cause a you're bad, bad kid. Yeah. And they're just going to re-educate you or whatever. So they just had all the bad kids together. Yeah. I feel like some, I felt like that. You either got touched by Norman or got touched by a priest. <laughs> <laughs> those hugs hit different. <laughs> but besides that, it was a cool experience. <laughs> yeah. besides that we made it yeah yeah that was an awkward time in our lives yeah I, that's how i try to block off memories from then like I, I grew up and i'm glad i'm it's all past me a lot of things that i don't like to think about from back then i also do remember we had a computer class and the teacher was like super unqualified to like teach us anything about computers <laughs> like i saw there was like some points in, during class that we were teaching her how to use or the computer or do certain stuff. 
yeah. we, had, we had to do this test where it was like we had to use like our home row keys mm -hmm. and like we were just typing stuff yeah. out right without seeing like the the keyboard so she put yeah. like a paper over the key over our hands and we were just typing stuff out and i vividly remember you know how like a microsoft word when you end a sentence you can start the new sentence without having to actually physically capitalize the new, the first word yeah you just type it out and once you hit uh, space it it automatically uh, capitalizes it so we were going through the test and she's like she was trying to nudge me as in like you didn't i finished a sentence and i started the new one and she was trying to nudge me as in like hey you didn't capitalize that like como quedándome, like little hints yeah. And I remember I was like, shut the fuck up, bitch. And like I started and I finished the word and she, I hit the space bar and add automatically capitalized. And you heard her go, oh, oh, <laughs> oh. Yeah. And, and that's when I knew. Damn. Yeah. I feel like maybe, I mean, technology at that time, too, was just rapidly growing. I don't think there was way for them to keep up. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, she should have. Right. But I know she was also a lot older. Yeah. So maybe it was just maybe it was just hard. And she was keeping to her basics. Maybe. I, I don't know. I feel like I don't type like that anymore. I, I don't use my home row keys. I do. Do you? I, I, I had you a computer class in uh, in eighth grade. I, uh -huh. I remember. I remember how she looked. I can't tell you her name, though. I don't know. <laughs> hmm. But, yeah, and it was like we spent a whole semester learning to type a single sentence that use, uses every single key. Oh, it's the one letter. like the iPhone uses. No, something it's like red the, fox. Yeah, the red brown dog jumped over the, the, or mama. the fox jumped over the lazy dog. Some, something like that. And it's, it seemed like we spent a whole semester training for that. And all we had to do was just type it without looking at our keys. Mm. And I mean, it was literally every day for one hour typing. And But do you, do you think that helped you now? Yeah, that's exactly how I type now. Like, well, I, mean, I, I, can, I type like, leave, leave my hands in the middle row. Mm -hmm. Easy, and then just boom, boom, boom. Yeah. I can't do that shit. I feel like I, I know where the keys are without having to look. But I feel like I don't keep my hands there. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I have to double check. But Sarah e types faster than me, and she types with two fingers. Does she really? Yeah. Can she type without looking at the keyboard though? I don't know. I don't pay attention, but I know she types faster than me. Sarah e, let us know in the comments. How about the number? The number, the number thing? thing, dude. I could do that. Oh, oh it's you, you were a teller, yeah. Yeah. This shit's crazy. Like I feel weird when I have to go. Uh, uh, one, at the beginning. Two. No, like when uh, I have a, I have a, I have a keyboard that doesn't have uh, the, the num numbers. Yeah, so I'm like struggling trying to uh, put it from the top. But I'm so like if it had it there, Pam, I'd be doing get him a new keyboard. Yeah, no, it's because I have a gaming keyboard. <laughs> oh, well, do you, that's why it doesn't have Do you it. think we'll ever get to the point where we technology surpasses us and we're kind of like we're like our parents, like or, AI? Yeah, oh, like like in the future. Uh -huh, like, AI, mijo, enséñame cómo hacer esto. Nah, you think we, we would keep? I, I think we're that generation that grew up and is gonna learn throughout. Mm -hmm. I mean, eventually the age will catch up. Our age, yeah, we'll like catch our, up uh, yeah. to it's like, yeah, I don't comprehend this uh, as fast, but that you'll get it. I mean, so you think that it. like era of not knowing a lot of technology is like over and done with? Yeah, but yeah, like if you think about it, like well, you I said, mean, yeah. I feel like even our parents, they know, uh -huh. they just don't put the effort. Yeah, see, porque luego ya las enseñas una vez y andan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see your mom on Facebook. Yeah, pues sí. Yeah, like they they know. Just no, I that. feel like my parents know, like they're well versed. Oh, uh, if anything, I feel I feel like I help my mom more, but my dad, I feel like he's there's like very little things here and there. If maybe anything, but with. but maybe like if you talked about AI to them right now, like they'd be like, what? Dude, what the hell? Like what? What's know. AI? To ask. They listen to this, so yeah. Like the we'll ask them, be like, hey, do you know what AI is? Like I'm pretty sure they know what it is, but it, like, like what the it can do. Extent of the technology. Mm. Yeah. Like, have you seen the those videos of like the. The, the kids the, yeah like the they kids. show the parents yeah that's fucking scary dude that's crazy that's fucking scary <laughs> but yeah so i was talking to my sister actually because we're my, the girls really want to be on the podcast um porque es todo lo que conocen they're all, all these they're on the internet like 24 fucking seven yeah. uh so the girls are like oh i want to be on the podcast i want to be on the podcast which i'm super down to have them on so they can kind of experience it <laughs> pero la misma vez me da como que cosilla that they get their voice yeah and when, yeah to like put them out there you know like obviously i don't i don't know how i would like handle that situation as far as like actually having video and like recording them and mm -hmm. putting it out there you know because también pues la, la más grande pues ya está medio like ya está en el yeah. lado donde le pueden enseñar a sus amigos like oh mira like i was on this podcast yeah. you know so like do i really want to put it out there and i was talking but to i my... mean even before ai yeah 
you did you ever get those scam phone calls about oh I have your your brother no or your sister luckily I, no I got I got those yeah I got them twice and I remember at my parents' house someone called some random phone like called he's like and then he answered I answered mm -hmm. I was like hello and the first thing he says I have your brother and I'm staring at Ozzy in the face like right there in the <laughs> living room I was like, and, you mean my sister <laughs> and and then I knew right away what yeah, yeah. what it was and then I was all like. You have my brother? I told him. And then he was like, yeah. And if you want to see him alive, you're going to do what I say. And then I was like, I was like, oh, yeah. I played along for a little bit. Mm -hmm. But then I, you know, you get tired. And yeah. you're like, hey, my brother's right in front of me. Yeah. Like, get out of here. And then, te, te avienta la madre. Sí. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I was like, so that was happening before that, before AI. Like, that they kind of fake it. But the fact yeah. that they can get their voice <laughs> to por, say stuff. Sí, pues a eso me refiero. De que now insane. they can actually replicate your voice. Or and like AI can basically replicate your face. I mean, it's. I mean, if you actually pay attention to it, it's probably not as believable. At least like it's a video, but they could still do it. So I mean, the technol the technology is there. So it's only gonna get even, you know, better. More realistic. Yeah, more realistic. So that kind of like freaks me out where it's like, okay, I'm super down to have you on the podcast, at least in in, in this example. But like, what could happen kind of just like stops me from actually but that's doing extreme. it. extreme. Yeah, I'm That's, an extremist though. Yeah, stop. I know. I always think of like <laughs> I always think uh, it's worst like case scenario. Yeah, I'm an extremist and also a pessimist sometimes. Yeah. So it's like I always think of what else, what could go wrong. I'm like, yeah. do I really want you out here? You know. But don't uh, manifest it. That's true. Mm. Pero pues es la posibilidad de que algo está pasando. You know. Just Disney Channel stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Puro Mickey Mouse. For real. No, like Disney Channel, like they they start off as kids and yeah. then uh -huh. their life goes down the drain. Like uh, except Hillary Duff. Amanda, no, but have you seen Amanda Bynes, bro? No, no. <laughs> is, she bro. De is she Demi Lovato? -y? Ni se parece, we. Like in a good way or in a bad way? In a bad way. Uh, you know Demi Lovato, right? When she went full psycho mode. Yeah, yeah. She, she she went from a real she her to a I identify as a paper clip <laughs> <laughs> no i haven't seen her recently i mean i only i know the hillary duff thing and then uh, selena well, gomez well, if uh, anything but well she, hillary duff just stayed baddie bro she looks like the like uh the, that's not the, the lorax doesn't even look like it's her bro what is that why is she orange doesn't even look like it's her it's fucking crazy look at this shit yeah. she looks like she the, got blue uh, she got blue eyebrows bro amanda blue but it's because they make so much money when they're young and they're around it. She got Epstein, huh? I don't doubt it, dude. You have to send me those pictures. Yeah, so I'm, I'm literally screenshotting it so I can send it to you right now. Before hey, good job on the editing, dude, by the way. Thank you. Mm -hmm. you, uh, the, you don't watch? Uh, you don't watch? He doesn't, he, doesn't <laughs> watch, he doesn't even watch anything. Bro, I um, listen to it, though. <laughs> he, all he watches is... You uh, watch the videos. I put some funny things here and there. Yeah. Who's the Who's the fake... The the. The Mexican teacher that uh, Emma watches? Emma? Oh, fuck It's not Miss Rachel. It's not Miss Rachel. It's Miss uh, Fachel. Yeah. Fachel? It's la Señora Raquel. Nah, it's... Yeah, dude, you know who Miss Rachel is? No. No, it's like a kid's... She's... She does videos for kids. Okay. You know? She started off... I, I don't know if I'm going to get this 100% correct, but she was a special ed student teacher... For autistic kids, right? Oh, I don't know that, but I know she has an autistic kid. Mm. And so she started doing the videos because of her kid. And she just blew up. Like, blew up. Like, you you go on the internet and you find some of her older videos. And then the ones right now, and the editing's like, damn. Like, Wait, you different. can tell yeah. she grew, yeah, you know? Like, there's people behind the scenes. It's not just her on her She computer. has a whole production team now. Yeah. And, uh, well... That that's who she is. Like she's right now. You go on any of her videos, multi million views. But there's a bunch, not a knockoffs, but they, they do the same thing, but in Spanish, and I'm sure in mm. English too. But in my household, we want to teach them Spanish because they'll learn English in school. And she, Emma, already says a bunch of English words. Like she's learning it quick. But so the Spanish one, there's a lot of them, but they even look like her. Like they try, like the whole appearance is like, damn, you're trying, like, <laughs> yeah, like just to replicate, like, dude, like, there's gotta be some copyright infringement going on right here, you know. But I don't know, Isa, 
Isa. Is it Isa? Yeah, but it's Miss Isa. Mm. Yeah. Miss. 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 Um, I feel like that's how it is with YouTube or anything in general now. Like, <clears throat> like I, I remember we were talking about like, oh, what should we talk about? And um, it's like you can literally put anything on YouTube, like how to or just any challenge. And you'll literally find any single challenge. And I think that's where people just find their ideas just based off what other people have done. And I feel like I have a big feeling there's just no original, original ideas. ideas anymore. I just No original ideas, just you new, could twist new characters them if anything. to the same movie. Yeah, you yeah. can twist them here and there, but everything already feel like it's happened at one point. Um, well, it's like movies. Like It's yeah. never an original movie. Now it's just, not that it's remakes, but it's that plot, that movie already exists somewhere mm -hmm. like it it just does it's just different like now you have denzel washington instead <laughs> <laughs> yeah well it's, uh, i had like an, uh, i had a moment where i was watching movies with bow and one day i was like i already know what's gonna happen yeah. so i felt like i had like that intuition yeah. and i know everything and i was like watch this and this is gonna happen and this is the climax and then one day i was like thinking about it and i was like no, it's because there's like thousands of the same fucking movie. It's just yeah. different actors. And like Jesus said, like small little plot twists here and then. But it's the same thing. Well, it's the same thing as podcasting. Yeah. I think we said it. <clears throat> what was it with Ian Friends? But I know, but we've said it like multiple times on the podcast. And we've talked about it before where it's like we all talk about the same shit. Every single podcast that's out there is just, just so oversaturated that it's hard not to talk about the same things. You just got to find the voice that you like listening to. Yeah. Pretty with much. The visuals. Yeah. And the visuals too. I mean, all that helps, but it's just every single, like we were talking about with Ayun, for instance, it's like everyone's talking about fucking Gypsy Rose and the Epstein list. And like everyone was talking about Coachella. The torpedo. Yeah. When it came out. Yeah. Uh, not the torpedo, the submarine. <clears throat> no, and I, I agreed with you. I was <laughs> one way. <laughs> it's like, mm. do you want Verizon, T Mobile, Cricket? It's pretty much that, right? It's the same yeah. thing, but you just choose. I'm on that Obamacare, <laughs> <laughs> Obama <Yeah>. phone, <laughs> Metro PCAs. <clears throat> Bro, speaking of Obamacare, I don't know why. I, I, it's just random. I was looking at my paychecks, like, why the fuck am I paying for Medicare if I'm not fucking using it? This pisses me off. Have or you guys or, or like the it? Social Security, especially that they keep saying no. we're not going to get it. Yeah, that's not going to survive, right? Yeah, it's going to survive. It's I'm, just going to be shit. I'm just so mad like how much they take every time I was like bro would you guys rather not well obviously everybody I don't need to formulate this question because it's gonna be really fucking stupid and obviously everyone's gonna want their gross income but like would you actually put money away for your savings if that wasn't for that no I would waste pay would for waste more things stuff yeah. that I want yeah so do you think <laughs> do it's, more things so you think it's helpful having that but, put away or not but it's, let's say they don't take it out of my check and you guarantee it right there and then that you won't be allowed to use it when you're old. Would you be okay with that? I so don't know, uh, we're talking yeah. Medicare, right? Yeah. yeah. So does it matter right now? You decide Mario at 30 years old, I'm not going to put away from Medicare. Okay. The government says, okay, Mario never gets Medicare when he's of age. He can't use it. Would you still not put in on it? Does that include like? No, no, no. You can get your own stuff, like my, someone like a, else, like Roth yeah, IRAs and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. IRAs this just specifically that little part that says, I don't know. Medicare I don't look at. I don't never Medicare see my ID. I never look at my stubs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A, the California one. The no, I want. Security. I want my whole gross. Just cause. So you you just want it all? Yeah, yeah. I would rather have it all. But I'm pretty good at putting money away for those type of situations so like since i was like 18 i've had like a roth ira i had both of them a traditional and a roth mm -hmm. i don't even know what the fucking difference when i signed when we signed up i was like just give me both fuck it whatever yeah so I, i've had that for like years i can tell you a difference yeah well, but that's enough. yeah that's, that's another that's another podcast <laughs> we're gonna lose listeners <laughs> uh so i'm pretty good at that so yeah i would much rather have my gross what about you guys I mean, because I'm already putting into a 401. It's like, why do I need the social? I mean, at the end of the day, I'm getting all that money, getting all that money back, mm -hmm. quotations. But, like, I prefer the getting way that my 401 mad. is set up is technically I'm supposed to get a salary's worth once I retire, right? Um, but Your full salary? That's how I have it set up. So mm -hmm. It's pretty solid for that age. Yeah. I mean, if you got shit paid off and you're just kind of... Just chilling yeah. there. On un rancho, it is... 
I know. Natas una vaca la verga para comer. <laughs> But then again, food for the winner. Uh, there's times where I think about like I can't wait to retire and use my social security and go to the casino. Bro, <laughs> like every other old person. <laughs> you in there touching the maquinitas like the old Asian ladies? It's this one. <laughs> I'm down. It's funny because I know a lot of seniors that do that. Just use their money at the casino. Yeah, just because uh, they just well off and they just go spend it over there. It's their playing money. Well, I mean, yeah, if it's just your extra money, why not, right? Yeah. Yeah, because my kids are gonna take care of me. Damn. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't even take care of my parents. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> no, I said I'm not wrong right now, but you know, in the future, if they need my help, of course I help. <laughs> no, fuck you. Nah. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna put Jesus boss. <laughs> First sip of my Arizona's hard tea. I'm breaking. Sober January. Mm. Fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck does that shit, bro? Control yourself. Who needs a sober month? Just don't drink too much. This is actually good. Bro. Go back. Get on. I'm, I'm gonna get I'm gonna, live. I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this probably, but fucking go live and let's say it. Oh fuck dry January. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just I I don't like the I don't like the people. Are we live? Yeah, we're live. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. And it, and it's it's funny because like your filthy hands off my mic. <laughs> Bow and, and my so I gotta do dry January. No hate to them, but it's just like I hate when people overly share or like I feel like they feel like they're the shit because they're doing dry January. I feel if you have to do dry something, it's kind of like you have a problem then. So, like, they're, so do they're, you, do they're you the, have do you have a problem? Like, they're the alcoholics, not me. Like, <laughs> if you need to go dry for a full month, like you know I, they listen know to them. this, right? <laughs> like they, they don't even drink that much. They maybe drink on the weekend and maybe have a cup of wine here and then during the week, a glass of wine. Sorry, cup yeah. of wine. Like, dude, you guys don't have to do a dry January. Now, someone that is drinking an eighth a day, yeah, do dry January. Yeah, like you need AA. Are you on? Yeah, right. It sound, doesn't uh, sound like I'm on. Maybe it's I just fine. Yeah. Post production, everything sounds fine. Sounds okay. fine. But you guys can hear me through your. Yeah. I don't Thank you, Lingy. Uh, yeah. No, I don't. I don't. There's something about like just overly sharing about like something like that just like kind of irks me or gives me the ache. Like all the Instagram things, the ad years. Como? Like someone puts, well, we just oh, did it. Your huh? 21 add your 21 year old. Yeah. We just did that. <laughs> <laughs> Be it's like, but the, the ad years, yeah. and it's like, oh, 210,000 other people have added theirs. Yeah. Ad years. I mean, I guess it's fun, but I'm, I just don't participate it as much anymore. I, I remember I used to, in COVID, I remember I used to do it because mm, I was bored out of my bored. mind. But I just, now I see them, I was like, I don't want to do this. I don't know. I, I feel like, I mean, you can, but how often do you drink like that? You need dry January. Do you need it or is it just, oh, I'm just going to do it just because. I think most people see it like as a reset. Like for the year. So, but yeah. a reset so it can hit you harder. That's true. I, I think it would have been better if it was like for something kind of like the whole uh, Movember. I think it's Movember with the mustache. Yeah, that's, that's for, for the like prostate a, exam. Mm -hmm. Or not the prostate, it's prostate <laughs> cancer. <laughs> <laughs> if you can grow a beard, you can check your prostate. <laughs> I think it was that, right? Men's prostate cancer, whatever. It's one of or the cancers. <laughs> not whatever. It's either um, prostate or uh, testicular cancer. But if it had a meaning behind it, I think maybe that would be a lot better. But I mean... Maybe it's also for people that just want to, <laughs> I mean, I think it's also important to set goals for like, you know, little challenges here and there to mm -hmm. kind of give yourself, um, some sense of, uh, accountability, accountability, yeah. accountability. That's what it should be. My fucking goal like is test to, almost, you know, it's yeah. like, Hey, if I can do this, you know, there's other things I can do or, hmm. I guess I, that's what it is really. No, it's like more of a small personal goal, mm -hmm. very minor. So when. You need a win. Yeah. A win, I guess. Yeah. Why Why not start out the year with the win? So you that, need a, That's personally why I think of... Maybe they do have legit reasons. Did they tell you anything? Why are they doing it? No. Oh. Well, Pau and... Well, like, let's say, like, let's say Pau and, and my suegra, they just do it just because. 
Cause, but like Pau doesn't really drink a lot, so I just feel That's like she saying. has a dry year. <laughs> They're too busy. Her and Sada are too busy telling Planning us to stop drinking. Night. Yeah. So my Sarita doesn't really drink a lot either. So I don't know. It's just it's just like, but they're not like. It's the cool thing to do. Yeah, they're not annoying about it. I think that's what bugs me. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm doing when, dry when January. The, yeah. When the annoying people yeah. are doing it. Oh, a mocktail because it's dry January. Damn. And like, why post it, bro? Damn. Yeah. Fuck out of here. Yeah, I don't think they've <laughs> posted shape, anything. No. They, I don't Same think Pau ever posted anything about it. No, Pau really very rarely posts anyway. She, well, posts her, she, she posts her fitness challenge though or not yeah. fitness see, journey that, that, that's, a, that's, yeah, that's something a, different you yeah, know yeah. That, now that shows accountability because if you if you're so used to her just like even if you just click through it but you mm. see that she's on the bike every day yeah it could inspire someone it's like damn she's going every day like, and it has I think she's gotten like a few DMs of people who were like damn you go every day like it made me want to start going to the gym damn all those dudes yeah I mean if one of them wants to buy buy some shit for her by all means bro, I'll give socks you <laughs> so they I want can, her socks so I can nut <laughs> and saw a meme today it was a uh, guys have foot fetishes because they lost their virginity to socks <laughs> <laughs> That's nasty. I don't ever. I never did that. I never jacked into my sock. No, that just feels That's weird. weird. Yeah, it's just a weird thing. Like, and then you gotta put it on. Eventually, mm-hmm. and then you it, waste one sock, and so now you have to clean both. Right? Well, that's an adult. That's, a, that's as an adult. Like when you did your own laundry. Like imagine when your mom was doing your laundry. <laughs> She's like, "Why is the thing standing by itself?" Jesus! <laughs> did someone put a rock in the dryer? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking uh, of fitness, how's your? challenge going good actually i'm actually did not gain any weight my mom said that you look like you're losing weight really yeah i felt a lot i feel a lot s- like slimmer i think you know what i mean like i did, i'm not drinking as much so now i'm only doing it like when the special occasions uh, i think the only time was like when those compas was here and we had to do the challenge i don't even think you guys did a lot right you guys are taking out of sippy cups Unless you guys well, drink the full beers after. Yeah, no, after we drink the full oh, beers. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, we finished all the talk ends. <laughs> Shout out to them. But um, I do feel a, a lot like, like, como que men- menos inflamado. Yeah. Okay. And do, do your clothes fit a little looser too? I'm always wearing t-shirts, bro. And I work for a tech company that's like super casual. So I haven't like actually like tried on my my, my like normal your dress. everyday clothes. Yeah, my oh. dress clothes, I guess you could say. Yeah. Um, but the day, so like for Emma's birthday, I was going to go a little bit more dressed up. Y si, como que si, hasta así me cerró la camisa. <laughs> like my button up actually didn't look like it was like, hey, you in my way. <laughs> it wasn't like Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, so it's it's going a lot uh, better. I've also been a lot more, um, like I've been holding myself accountable for like shit. So like yesterday, I had to go work at night. I had to go clean the, the restaurant that I clean. So I got home like at 11. Y para las 7, I was like, I got to go to the gym, bro. Like, yeah, 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 como que ya me estoy yeah. acostumbrando and I'm getting myself back into that mentality of like holding yourself yeah. accountable. Plus, I feel a lot better now. Like, I'm not as drowsy anymore. I feel like I have a lot more. And don't look at that. I mean, all the cliches that 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 is out there is like literally happening. Yeah. Because they say them because they're true. Yeah. Um, the re- reason I asked too is because I was listening to Los Compas and Andy called in. Oh, I don't yeah. know if you heard it. Yeah. But uh, he was like saying, like, yeah, day one, he's just started running and everything. He did. Like, Damn, like this. So we we did our, our weigh ins today. I think I was about like 12 pounds ish. Uh, there's the there's the inicio for January 1st. I also oh. fucked up in the beginning of January. I was sick the first week, so I really couldn't work out. And then after that, Los Compas came. And then it was Emma's birthday thing. So I kept on drinking a lot. But then I think this past like week, week and a half during the week, I just been doing like full on workouts with sauna suits, like like actually like hitting the gym and like doing the incline and trying not to stop. It's, that's been helping out a fucking shit done. Yeah. Like, incline working out yeah. a lot. Yeah. A no, the incline. Cardio. Yeah. The yeah. cardio. But I'm incorporating a lot more weight because I also like if I lose it, like if I lose the challenge, which I don't want to. It's chilling, but I'm also like, I don't want to do just cardio and then start losing muscle mass. So I'd rather, like we talked about it. Yeah. And like, I'd much rather start incorporating and doing heavier weights. So I feel like you still lose a lot, like a calories, like, a cal- like you burn a lot of calories doing heavy weights. I just don't want to lose the muscle mass. Like I don't want to mm-hmm. go back to like flat, like no ass and shit like that. I already don't have an ass. So. <laughs> 
But I think it's more of you have to lose weight first now and then build the muscle from there. You can, but you can incorporate both. Mm. Yeah, especially at the beginning. Yeah. That's good. Well, you better win. I know. And then take us out to eat when you win. For real. (laughs) We want to do a barbecue (laughs) (laughs) on March 31st. Yeah, we're trying to get everybody together to do a carne asada and just fuck it. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Just Just fuck one and all that. Yeah. Gain everything you guys lost. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just just arrachera on deck with guac and then those uh, handmade tortillas from Apple Tree. Those are Darina. so uh, dang, dude. Buffing. Con nachos ah. and nacho cheese and Ooh. everything. It's just everything nacho you guys cheese want. Fucks like, me up, every, everybody say one thing that they want and we get it for you guys. That'd be pretty dope. You guys hear that? But I need a collective. How many guys are in it right now? Siete, ocho? Let's say seven. So I need like a collective 350 pounds lost. That's doable. So you guys have two months left? Yeah. The end of March now? Yeah. I keep saying this, but what I feel like what's fucking, it's going to fuck me over is that Italy trip. Because I'm going to want, I know we're going to nah, be walking a lot, be walking a lot. But I just feel like all that pasta, I'm going to try to it's not. It's not like you're going to yeah. eat pasta every corner, bro. Wait, yo si soy nah, the bro. Mm, you don't even eat like that, bro. And I feel yoki? like their food is He's not as dog. greasy as ours. Nah, and it's not. No, it's fue, not. Fue, 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 yo creo que va a pasar con lo que, lo que nos pasó cuando fuimos a Alemania. Where it was like, it was a lot of food, but all of it was like. Clean. Pretty clean, clean, yeah. Yeah, they're, it's different. It's a lot different. The portions are different. And then you walk everywhere. Let me come back going like this. I lost the weight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a skinny. Damn. I'm jealous that you guys, you guys you're in Italy. Oh, Can I'm going to need to borrow that uh, the DGI shit. Start vlogging. There's a lot yeah. of space in there. I, I really do want to start vlogging. I just, uh, the editing just really, like, that's where I'm just like, oh, no, I miss Hey, it. you got to do it. I know. I forgot where I heard that. It's like, if you're here, if you just want to do something, just do it, man. It was on this podcast, bro. Was it? <laughs> just do it. That was probably one of our clips. Speaking of fucking clips, which I'm pretty sure we're going to talk about anyway when, when Bob comes back. But by the time she gets back and all these episodes drop, I don't even know when the fuck is going to happen. TikTok banned. Well, not banned. I mean, there was some fight with uh, Universal Music Group. And TikTok, they weren't getting paid or something, or they're not getting paid enough. Some like bullshit happened. Basically, TikTok, I mean, uh, Universal Music Group took off all their music off of TikTok, which kind of fucking sucks for creators. So like Universal Music Group, for example, I think has like Taylor Swift, Ariana Grande, Bad Bunny, uh, just to name a few. So it's like all my, I checked today and all of my TikToks that have like Bad Bunny songs on, everything's fucking muted. Damn. Damn. Yeah. It's fucked up. Yeah. Ooh. You're going to have to make your own version. Just recreate it. Recreate Just it. Sing, it. sing it. Sing it in the background and then uh, make your own audio. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's doable. It's you dope. said you put in a clip today that you were going to start making music. Fat Bunny. <laughs> Fat Bunny. <laughs> the one that didn't get away. Thick Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> it was, no, it was human. It was humongous. No, not humongous. When that uh, Bugs Bunny is f- the big Bugs Bunny, what's his name? Big Mungus or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> big big Mungus. That way. You guys remember the meme? <laughs> no. Oh, I'll have to pull it up. I'm pretty sure I'll put the picture already. <laughs> big Mungus. Uh, oh, but there is something I do want to talk about. This being the week, should be the week after Valentine's Day. Do you guys, now that we're all in relationships... <laughs> Uh, do you guys still ask your significant other to be your Valentine, or do you think it's important to still ask your significant other to be your Valentine? I think they like it, mm-hmm. but yeah, they all like they it. They like it. Yeah, I kind of just shoot a meme, like one of those, uh, like "Foo's Gone Wild." Uh-huh. They always put like Valentine's <laughs> memes, and I just send it her way, and then she always like, "Is this your way of asking me?" And I'm like, "Yes." Um, well, this is my first year in a long time. And I was actually going to ask you guys, like, are we supposed to ask them before Valentine's or can we ask them the day of Valentine's? No, I think it's, it's before. before because the day of mm-hmm. you do something. Oh, well, we're celebrating the weekend before because we're not in the same town. That's also that also prompts another question. This year, Valentine's Day is on like a Wednesday. So do you celebrate the weekend before or the weekend after? Wednesday. Because you live with her. So yeah. it's easier for her. <laughs> well, we it's easier for but if you want to go out on the weekend, we're not, well, I mean, we're going to celebrate the day of, like, we're going to do something small. Both. But 
We're going to... All weekend? All weekend of Petty Hour? Bo- both weekends. Mm. <laughs> we're... Well, this is already coming out after, so we're going to Julian. That's the plan. Mm-hmm. We're just going to go to Julian because that was one of our first dates. So... It was Julian? Yeah. I took her to... I went to go pick her up in Mexicali. Oh, and then he went to, to Julian. Back. Back. Julian. And then drove back to drop her off and then drove back to my house. God damn. damn. I was fucking dedicated, man. That's bro. commitment, bro. Yeah. Pam, put a ring on him, <laughs> bro. Fuck? What are you doing? I don't even want to go pick up out from like downtown, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Uber here, bro. bro. I don't even want to drop off my daughter at her Nina's house and it's in the next freeway exit. To be fair, she was driving an FMJ. The you know it's like those Toyota like it looks like a Hummer but it's not it's a Hummer. It's the Toyota oh, it version of a matter. Jeep. It's just where it gas guzzlers and I had a Kia so that's, it was what? nothing. That's so it 150 was, miles there, 100 miles back. So it was an hour and a half there, and then an hour to Julian, and then an hour back from Julian, and then an hour and a half back to my house. Jeez. I spent like almost half the day just driving. And you spent that's two gas tanks at least. It was a gas tank. Uh, There's one. Su carro no gastaba oh, mucha El Kia, the Soul. Yeah. yeah. I filled that with 40 bucks. Do you? But then when I got home, I had to fill up again, so. Yeah. I fucking hate filling up my car, bro. Whenever I'm at the gas station, I look up, I'm like, we're not going out. Ever. <laughs> this is the date, baby. Yeah. The fuck? <laughs> you should have gotten some corn nuts. <laughs> so, you guys do ask, or? Oh, yeah. Sorry. I totally derailed. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't. I mean, we don't in have my own way, to bring us back. So yeah. I'm gonna try to take that role right now. <laughs> I, I haven't asked in a really long time. I'm not gonna lie. This is the first year that I think I asked her in like. So you asked her four this year. years, yeah. I actually had some money left over, and one day I got I got off of work early, and I was like, I'm just gonna go buy some flowers, and those those fucking. Oh, is that those? Simon, and those uh the chocolates that she fucking likes the Reese's, but like the the. The special ones, like the ones that only come out like on like Valentine's Day and Christmas mm-hmm. and shit. Like she fucking loves those. Yeah, I lay in a tarjetita and I put, would you, will you be my Valentine? What'd she say? No. <laughs> <laughs> I live with you, stupid. <laughs> so now are you going to get her a different card on Valentine's? No, what the fuck? Okay. So we only need one card. <laughs> yeah. Well, to ask, yeah. Okay. But then the day of Valentine's. But the day you know? of, are you going to give her a gift? Did you give her a gift? No. No. Do you get gifts? Flowers. Like- yeah, like I was not, gonna do chocolates. Uh, I already have flowers arranged to get to her office that day, mm-hmm. and I was gonna buy a Nintendo Switch game for her. So nothing too crazy. But I then, think. are you gonna continue that every year? Every Small year gift you like have, that, you have yeah. To up it. Every so year. no, I'm keeping it the fifty dollar range. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what you say now. Inflation, bro. I mean, yeah, you never know. I mean, maybe next year I make more money, but. That's what I, I think. Well, oh my God, actually, he's gonna propose. No, oh. it's too soon. But uh, I was actually gonna. I was trying to. I was thinking of my anniversary because it's coming up. It's like two weeks after Valentine's. Damn, which next sucks. Week? Now that I think about it, it's next week. No, so it's Valentine's, and then two weeks after it's my anniversary. No, boy, after so this the drop. Twenty-seven. Oh yeah, so It'll in be a, a couple week weeks, so I don't want to reveal what anything. What is it? The twenty-seventh. The no, it's the third, fourth of March. Of March. Did you ask her out in a special way? Ask her to be your girlfriend in a special way. Um, I did. I asked her with flowers, and then she confirmed with me after. It was it was a tough decision. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's hard because it was a long long distance. distance. We had to both think about it. She had to think about it uh, because she never wanted long distance. I. Was willing to make that effort. I, wanted, I never thought I wanted it. a girlfriend. I never <laughs> wanted that. But then, like, I don't know. She made me, you know, want to attempt it. But uh, we, yeah, at the end of the day, uh, I, I did ask her with flowers and everything. And um, and then she f- finally said yes. Damn. The long distance is do, hard. Do you think at, at our age, and I'm saying 30. I would not be a stepdad. No. I'm just playing. At 30, <laughs> right? At 30, you still have to ask? To be a girlfriend, or is it kind of just assumed like, hey, yo, we've been dating? I feel like I think you, now you kind of have to ask. Right? You have to set a, a fine line, no? Because you can't just be like, oh, that we're a thing, but then like you're fucking around or whatever. Like or exclusivity. What, what, if you, what if you think you're a thing, and then she's like, you know? Well, that's how they started. Yeah. <laughs> what? No, the, they never <laughs> talked about it. Oh, <laughs> they, it was just like, yo, we're dating, right? Well. So you never yeah. asked Pao? Yeah, I did. To, 
a drunk night at Melly's house. A drunk night at Melly's house. Yeah. And by, by that time, how long have you guys been dating? Oh, fuck. I think a few months. Okay. But it was weird. So I, I, I know I've explained this before on the podcast. So she came back from San Fran. Mm-hmm. Y cuando nosotros estábamos hablando, before it became like an actual like thing, like I was just starting to get to know her and we were talking and she was like, oh, well, I just got back from San Fran. I didn't really have time to myself. So now that I'm back and I'm out of college and just relaxing, like I just want to like her exact words were I want to fuck shit up. So <laughs> I was like, all right, dude, like whatever, like you do your thing, like cero pedo. like at that time I didn't. I didn't want anything and like nor were we neither of us were looking it was just like you a damn liar you know you <laughs> you know you cried that night <laughs> she just wants dick no kidding nada. <laughs> she said she wants a guy like me but I'm a guy like me <laughs> but not you <laughs> <laughs> but so then after that then I just was with that same mentality the entire time and then oh we were actually we went to Savoie we all went to Savoy, and then we were taking care of Melisa. We were dog sitting and house sitting, and we went back to Melly's house. And I was a little faded. I had a little toxic moment, and then I was like, "Hey, you gonna be my girlfriend or what?" <laughs> Basically, <laughs> pero pues yo siempre estaba con la mentalidad de que <laughs> yo siempre estaba con la mentalidad de que like she just was just, she just wanted to like live basically and have yeah. fun. So like I never really thought about it until like after. So it was weird how like that all happened. And now we have a dog and we're getting married. So <laughs> funny. Living the dream. Yep. How about you? Did you ask? Yeah, I asked. He was fucking scared, bro. I was scared. She was a menace. She was my <laughs> ride home from school. If she said no, rides That's were it. over, dog. You had to walk. I was going to walk home. I was your ride for a long time. You, you were. But that was like Fridays. Damn, that was Friday. He upgraded this, you for this something. was like every day. She was my ride home, and it was like, or unless it was after I had left. Yeah, this well, was no, no, no. This is after you graduated. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, because that's when like seniors, you get that free. Like you only have four periods or whatever. I forget that you guys have been together so fucking long, bro. bro we've been together since 2011. 13 years. That's over a third of our lives. We've already no, been more. together. Over a third of our lives. Oh, you and... No, me. No, no, no. Eli and Oh, Sarai. I thought you were talking about us. Oh, no. I'm, I'm, yeah, we've been, oh, yeah, we've been fucking together for fucking... Yeah, we've been fucking... Like, <laughs> we've been together for like 60% of our lives. Yeah, long Bro. ass time. Well, oh, same with you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Fuck out of here, dog. Dude. Oh, fuck. Uh, Can we get new friends? <laughs> Wait, no mames. Yep. That's a long ass time. That's crazy, dude. yeah. Anyways, I have things I have to <laughs> talk about. Do it. Drop them. Um, Hold on, let me reset the camera. Okay. So, SD has been recently flooded, like today. Yep. Jill, yeah. Uh, what's today? February 1st. It's raining crazy. Um, but I don't know if you guys heard the story of, well, there were some places in San Diego that got really flooded and there was a story in the news that a grandson rescued his grandma that the house got flooded. So he went on his jet ski literally to the grandma's house to pull her out and then came back with the jet ski. There's literally a video. I was going to ask you if there's a video. There's a video. I'll, I'll put it on the YouTube video so you guys can see it. Probably won't have the audio on it but this is yeah i saw it you saw it okay yeah, so i didn't see the video but i saw the picture was that here in san diego yeah that's crazy like literally imagine just jet skiing in a neighborhood and how bad it has to be <laughs> <laughs> yeah i put the video on youtube but uh it's crazy how like such a we're such a first world country or like our city should be like, you know, top notch that there's... But it's because it rains one week out of the year. That's fucking funny. And we're just not used <laughs> to it. <laughs> so, Bro, but like, I mean, I, I get it rained a shit ton, pero para que se inundaran las calles así? It's because, so they were telling me, like, this this uh, contractor came over to the office and he was like, oh, it's because San Diego, it, it doesn't, um, it's not built for it. Uh-huh. Like... 
like dude that's crazy. and it was like <laughs> it's because it rains one week out of the year and it's usually not a week in a row it's mm-hmm. like a day here two days here like but lately like the last two years this has happened at the beginning of the year you know february january march it rains a lot and it's i mean we're not built for it yeah but i think you, you your place doesn't get flooded right now we have perfect like and like you're and here i'm assuming it doesn't rain. it's way too no. new my yeah. my house also is like on a hill so like everything just literally just goes down yeah bro but did you see the golf course the, that's oh, no, at the I bottom didn't. of your house no I, that's, well, that, that's why all the water from my house goes yeah. down there but see see the golf course itself uh-huh the way it's set up the way that they but landscape you, it uh-huh. it's gonna come off like a day after it stops sí. raining. But there's also a river that passes, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And you'll see my dad there. Yeah. <laughs> In his jet ski. <laughs> but uh, the reason I also uh, I wanted to ask on top of that is because um, do you guys have like... Because uh, we have like... we are One of our biggest threats could be a tsunami, mm-hmm. right? Because we're like literally by the ocean. Do you guys have like anything like emergency preps or like... Um, any like, even like earthquakes or let's just say zombies or whatever like do you guys have something prepped like if there's an emergency do you guys have your food do you guys have somewhere to evacuate to or do you, have no. you guys thought of that you know what the tsunami thing it it happens once in a while that i'm like damn but if a tsunami hits i live half a mile away from the beach bro like i'll see you guys <laughs> you in the next so? life bro oh, oh like you, next, you're, you think you're gone oh yeah dog. like unless like i, I thought you meant i'll see you guys as in like we'll, we'll be okay oh no 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 like may i'll be okay because i could swim <laughs> 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 but like if i think about it if a tsunami hit dead at night while uh-huh. i'm sleeping uh, no oh no way see, yeah. like even if you heard like because i think that there's sirens i don't know if those exist here i know that there they should have them be, in Hawaii. We're pretty and i'm pretty sure they have a warnings yeah, at least in the but i mean the warning if it's a warning, is it as it's coming? Is it as it's forming? What's mm-hmm. that warning hitting from? So if the warning is coming as the wave is already crossing the beach or coming to the beach, do you think that your car can outrun it? I feel like I've gotten alarms when there is a big earthquake that it's like, hey, possible, possible. tsunamis. See, but then again, so possible? Like, okay, how I possible? I don't think I'd, my car would un- outrun it. No, but see, right like, here, by the time, run it. so by the time, like theoretically, no, this hypothetically, they go if this happens, by the time the alarm goes off, me despierto, I fucking get yeah, like, off, read I, it. Yeah, I read it. I'm all, I, I, I'm like, you're fucking all disoriented when you wake up. I wake up, Paulina, I fucking get the dog, and I come downstairs, get my keys, like all that I'll, throughout that course. I think I were already fucked. I feel like you're far away enough, no? I yeah, think so. I think, yeah. You, I think you're far away enough. If you're not far away enough, I think that the way the streets are, they're decent enough where the water would kind of this not hit straight at the house. It goes around at, because we, we live in like valleys. So, yeah. I don't. <laughs> I live a mile, a mile away from the beach. Yeah. Like, and that's true because we're the way our house is we're on top of the valley because yeah, the valley is down there from here we yeah, have to kind of yeah. there's two streets on both sides that run down str- well they like run straight yeah. and they're lower yeah way lower so the water would fill those up before First. it gets yeah i remember in my uh in high school my teacher said mr sixtus i don't know if you ever had him or if you remember him but he said if there's tsunami ever hit this like by Bonita Vista High School, all that area, we'd be fine. We'd had beachfront property, he said. <laughs> Damn. So we're we're far enough. Yeah. But uh, I, I I remember my dad used to have emergency st- like stuff like a thing. I don't know if we still have it. Probably double check with him. But I think it's a good idea, or for anyone just to water anything. Just just go, like having flashbacks of COVID. Like I couldn't even get t- paper paper. What was it? Paper toilet. Toilet, toilet paper, paper. <laughs> um and that shit was bad so i was yeah. like kind of those things like dude i i think i should have something like a know? little spare kit like have a little can, couple of cans of tuna that in your car and yeah. um also uh just based off that movie um the one that i forgot what it was the one from netflix that we're telling mm. him to watch it's like i was i was talking to pants like hey if something like that happens are we gonna meet up or we're just never gonna see each other again <laughs> It's like we should have like a like a meeting. We place? should meet up here, you know, just in case. But. And how how long would you wait yeah. to meet there? It's like hey, thirty days 
after the first day and we wait for two days just in case the other one started but are you meeting at like a house or are you meeting like no, a, I don't know. you're we staying in your car we don't plan we don't that out that no 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 I'm saying like 30 days after so if today the natural disaster mm. started 30 days after that's when you're like okay we're gonna meet up at that rock and you wait there a day or two ah uh, yeah 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 <laughs> Yeah, I think you have to be like really specific. <laughs> Fucking Mario in his Jeep for 30 days. <laughs> I won the challenge, guys, because I have an eight. <laughs> no, but going back to your question, no, we don't have shit. No. But we have thought about it. So after we saw that movie, Bao got into like prep mode, prepper mode. And she's where's, like, where's the bunker? Yeah, we should go to Costco. And, More like non-perishables, maybe. Uh-huh. And, and grab some like uh, the water cases and like get some like, uh, not tuna, pero... Or like beans. some canned food yeah just canned you know beans what? now that i think about it Ram- he bought like three packs of waters and she never buys water bro she, dude it's fucking scary you know what from- tripped me out was uh a bunch of millionaires started buying houses with bunkers bro but you know what's gonna happen people know where those houses are we're gonna show up and we're gonna go in there and just take Let it over see. do you think you'd be able to uh survive a zombie apocalypse no depends Would- what kind of zombies Slow walkers, or we're we talking no, uh, World War the, Z? the World War Z ones. Not, nah, I don't think it, anybody's bro. gonna survive that nah. shit. I like like microwave my balls so they <laughs> they notice that I have testicular cancer and then be like, oh, dog, leave him alone. You know, like <laughs> like I, I I beat you guys. <laughs> like that's that's how I'm no, surviving. No, the, the slow zombies. Slow zombies? No. Like eventually you you're gonna get got because you have to go out looking for food. And you're going to get caught by one of those mm. fools that's just like chilling there and just like. Mm-hmm. Or just like any zombie movie, the people, it's themselves. Yeah. Yeah. You don't trust someone. Just like The Walking Dead or The Last of Us, like the show. Yeah. Or someone's got to be first. What if I'm the first one? I'm like, ah, oh, damn. I think I'll just get bit on purpose. Just do it? Yeah. And I try to survive. Do you think it would hurt? Like turning into a zombie? <laughs> no. <Depends. laughs> But like, do you think it hurts? Like, now that you think about it, when they turn into zombies, does it hurt? No, they kind of just like slowly die, right? Slowly, slowly die, and then they turn. But there's some situations where zombies are just eating you alive. You're like, "Ah." no, no, no. I'm talking about like you get a bit, you get bit. Um, What? Well, I'm assuming the bite hurts. Well, I mean, you get bite. They didn't like rip off flesh. They just bit you. I was gonna say they have to like scratch. You know, they can't. It's not like porque si te comen. Yeah. Esta. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. There's just some. I, it's impossible. Zombies are impossible. Just letting everybody know. Can be. I've always it's impossible. Your your muscles atrophy you, when blood stops running to them. So they would literally start falling to the ground because the blood doesn't pump no more. But what about like the Last of Us zombies? What the fuck is that? You haven't seen the Last of no, Us? No, I haven't seen the HBO. Last of Us. What is it? I've is, seen are it. their hearts it's, pumping? It's fungus versus like a virus. But do their hearts pump? No, it's just fungus keeping So if your heart doesn't f- pump, that's it. But it's fungus keeping him alive. It doesn't work. Mm, I don't care. You gotta watch it, dog. I don't know. The, that, 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 oh, you know, that one fucking scared the shit out of me. The, the last of us? Yeah, because yeah. it's really realistic. Yeah. If the heart is not working, it cannot work. The, the <laughs> muscles know, will... The muscles will... You know, have you, have you seen those... Hollywood uh, would never lie to those me. Those insects, <laughs> like man, the mantis that are taken over by parasites? It's what? pretty much like that. There's videos the, of the like cancer, the, no, like, yeah, yeah, the the mantis, like yeah. brain mantis that are they have a, a parasite in front of in, inside of them, but it's taken over by the parasite. It's not really the brain mantis, but that's a living thing. Yeah, yeah so that's like you, like you have a parasite, but it's a fungus. So th- then we go to that thing. So if if the heart's beating and the, then yeah, then yeah, you're kind of fucked. At that point, it's a live zombie. Do zombies age? I don't know. Will they die of old age? Fuck. <laughs> now we're getting too deep. Bro. <laughs> I don't know. Hollywood hasn't told me anything about that yet. There's too many scenarios. Yeah, but what's up with the next uh, global pandemic? It's got to come up. They keep saying it's coming back now. Right? Yeah, some sort of flu. I don't know, man. All that shit's Someone at scary. my office said they had COVID. I was like, what? I already work from home, so you can't get infected. <laughs> it was me. I Dude. said it. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> um anyways do you guys want to get into some of the q a's that we got do today? it yeah all right do it but do you need a peer no oh all right 
in this day and age oh actually shout out to all the people who did sh- uh, share uh send us some q a's appreciate thank you. it yeah and if you shared thank you and for the rest of you don't forget to like subscribe five star comment share and we're gonna figure out that whole review shit but what yeah, you yeah. said we'll figure two. out the review stuff times two aviso numero dos <laughs> in this day and age do you think you need college to be successful to be successful mm-hmm. no no it's um successful at what though because there's certain things that you would to qualify right but to like let's just say just straight up make money no no there's different ways right well i guess yeah let's 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 categorize what successful is first i guess like like it's because it it depends it really depends like do you need it no you don't even need a high school degree to to like to, start anything, to yeah. Start anything. You start a business like, right off the bat. You don't need any type of degree. You don't need any type of education. Like, uh, shit, I think I'm gonna about to bag on someone. Mm-hmm. But there's this old lady that does recetas from her cocina. Mm-hmm. I don't know her name. I know that that's what she does. I know in one of her videos they say that she didn't even like finish elementary school. She just makes some bomb ass food. She just makes some bomb ass food. Showed it to the internet. Shows it once a week how to cook up something new she's got a couple hundred million subscribers it's like hey you think that she's not successful well i think that's the beauty of now of like of like uh consecrating is like you can make money just out of based off stuff that you're already doing like all these like get ready with me's and like all these uh influencers that like got famous or have gotten like sponsorships or brand deals based off just them doing like a get ready with me in the morning or follow me to do something and stuff like mm-hmm. that. And then that's their, their whole content is just what they're doing. There's this influencer or I guess content creator that has literally made like thousands and or millions. I think it's millions of subscribers and like followers on his TikTok just by doing a follow me to work at an average job at 30 years old. And this guy like works a desk job and he just gets ready. And like, that's all his video is. He doesn't really talk. He just gets ready. He puts on like a, like a polo, his slacks, his dress shoes, does his breakfast, makes his coffee, gets, leaves the house, gets into the car, goes to his desk job. And that's it. Like that's all his content is. And this guy's making money just off of that. (laughs) And we're over here working nine to five. Fuck. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, it depends, right? So like, it can it can help college does help out a lot right with fine tuning maybe some skills or just uh opening your the door to new things uh the whole networking part of it right you know you're finding meeting different people or there's a lot of events usually with colleges where you can explore different careers um is i think it just depends on the person right how ready you are to work or just depend what you're looking for as well cuz um i got lucky where I found an entry position at the financial dis, uh, industry and then I just stayed there and my I have enough work experience where I can go anywhere in the finance industry. and You climb the ranks and build your resume. Yeah, pretty much. I have the work history to prove it. Uh, but maybe, but I know there's a lot of starters that they just needed their bachelors to get into um, to certain positions in banks, right? So um, it can give you a head start as well. But uh, or like doctors, like, yeah. yeah, it's not like you can skip, <laughs> skip, skip it, medical you know? school, it just depends yeah. at the, uh, nah, yeah, what like, you're looking to do, yeah. It's like I get, some people are just naturally good at you know business or yeah, um, certain things, so maybe they don't need it, but it can't help. Um, but it's just maybe it's not for every, it's not for everyone yeah. for sure, but yeah. So, uh, like, can help, yeah. Like a while back ago, I used to criticize people who would go to like business school and get like uh, their, their bachelor's in like business or something like that oh yeah bitch <laughs> this fucking dumbass is full yeah <laughs> but uh, yo, yo, lo cri- yo lo criticaba in a forma de que pues, like, I never went I mean I fucking dropped out bro so I, <laughs> bitch <laughs> so I was like well wh- what really do you need it but I saw it in the eyes as if mi papá tenía negocio so like I kind of already knew like the steps and the ropes and mm-hmm. what to do and stuff like that so for someone who doesn't really know and then plus there's things that you're gonna learn in school that maybe I wouldn't have known, right? So, like, all my business experience I've gained through my dad, Mm -hmm. which he learned kind of on his own. So, like, there's also stuff in, like, accounting that I, like, later figured out how to do, right? Or, like, taxes that I later figured out or things that in taxes that I figured out and my dad didn't really know. So, maybe it's things, like, 
I could have learned in school and I really didn't fucking know. So then now I don't judge people <laughs> for yeah. getting like business degrees. Yeah. yeah. So there's some people, I mean, it's, it's, um, I forgot how to, someone worded it once, but, uh, you know, it's just, some people just naturally have the capability to do certain things. And some people need that little help or push or, um, I don't know. Just, I think it's just it really depends on the individual, right? There's nothing wrong with going to school. There's nothing wrong with not going to school. Yeah. But it's this, just, you got to know how you're going to move forward. Depends on your goals. Would you go back in time and go back to school? Or depends. would you change? If, if I'm living the same life right now, mm -hmm. no, I wouldn't go to school. No? Nah. You just stay. Yeah. I, I, I would have done something different, but I know I wouldn't have gone to school. Would you have changed school? Because like, then you were in medical school when you first started, right? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> that first year? Yeah. Whack. <laughs> Not for me. This is a Bro, el, it's because, okay. Todo moribundo. <laughs> nah, it's, so the first semester, it was at Xochicalco. Uh -huh. they, they throw you into the hospital, dog. See? The first semester. Yeah. Bro. Well, that's the thing about like... We're learning how to write our name on the test. <laughs> <laughs> and they threw us into the, the hospital. And it's... I mean, they don't have you doing anything, obviously. The, you're seeing everything, yeah. though. You, you, the meten al quirófano, which mm -hmm. is, uh, I think it's the prep room for mm -hmm. surgery or surgery room. Mm -hmm. I saw the first day, the first day that I was there, I walked in and this lady was like, I need help. And we're like, and then like she looked at me because you were supposed to go in the then, white coat then and everything. Get help, doc. <laughs> you, you go in the white coat because you have to. Mm -hmm. And even though it says like student or whatever, Same. they're like, I need help. My best friend just broke my ankle because she thinks i stole her crack and she like i looked down her ankle bro was huge like she had a broken ankle and she was standing on it she cracked oh, out what the fuck she was standing on she it? was standing on it and then Damn. the next guy that was actually inside the operating room had four bullets in him and he was just like Chilling. staring at me dog he's like hey what time what time am i going in i was like dog what the like how how are you here like that was in the hospital general yeah. Uh, yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, that's what I saw. Like yeah. my first, not my first day, yeah. the first semester though. So no. And for me, the reason I got out, honestly, if I'm being honest right now, it was the border. Cause you wrote. Nah, it's cause uh, the border, like, mm -hmm. like it was straight up the line coming back. Cause that's not, I don't think it was before century. It was before century existed mm -hmm. or, or before I got it. So imagine I was being at school all day. I was oh, at see, school all day, and then I had to do two hours to come back home, and then study, do my work, and then. No, you have to be there. I mean, they tell you that. Yeah. That's that's given. Yeah. But it was like. Uh, like yeah. yeah, it was a hassle. But even even if I could like go back, change anything, I wouldn't go back to that. No. Nah. Like if if I wanted to do the same thing now, there's like certifications i can get which last six weeks mm. eight weeks oh really yeah so no but go to school i say you go to school if your profession uh needs it like medical school like medical school Same. yeah like uh becoming a lawyer like you need it you need schooling for that you know like you're not just gonna go on youtube yeah. and learn something like oh this is how you uh, do open heart my lawyer where'd you go to school tiktok university <laughs> <Yeah. dog. laughs> or if you don't know what you do you're gonna do because i feel like college helps out pinpoint what you're what you can do See. yeah it, it shows you, you people, all yeah. the different things you can do or something that you might like that you didn't know you were aware of like boys. Hi, <laughs> my Let's favorite. Experiment. My favorite. <laughs> All right, next one. <laughs> if you could have one superpower, what would it be and why? Jesus, go first. Superpower? I've always wanted to do uh, either teleporting or. That's because of Pam Huffle. I'm flying. Yeah. Aquí estoy, Damn, baby. That's, oh, those are yeah, both, yeah, those are both I think teleporting because, I mean, also because of, well, I don't go through traffic anymore, but I just really hate traffic or, I don't know, I feel like. So it, you would like stop it, run through the, uh, through the, what's that, that, the emergency lane, <laughs> get off of your exit and then <laughs> play. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think teleporting, I think is a good one. Kind of mm. like Nightcrawler. Like from X Men, as long as you visit there once, you know what it looks like. Mm -hmm. You can visualize it. You can be there. Mm. Teleporting. 
Huh? Is having uh, the bank. teleport in and out a photographic memory a superpower? Would you consider that a superpower? I remember I used to tell girls that I had photogenic memory she just to s- show off. S- send me a nude and I'll, <laughs> I'll remember it forever. <laughs> I'll remember it forever. <laughs> and uh, and then one girl finally is like, "Oh, really? Let me test you." And then I was like, "Fuck!" I fucking panicked hard. Should have been like, I-, I don't do that shit, bro. <laughs> like, what, what am I, a monkey? A los payasos se les paga. <laughs> Gotta yeah. be quick, dog. The quickness. Anyways, you guys, oh, you, think, you think, uh, you think, do you think it's a superpower though? The, what? Yeah. Uh, having a yeah. photogenic memory. And, oh, and being able to keep that. To retain the memory. Yeah, retain to retain it. it yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, I want that. You want that? Yeah. Yeah. That, that's a good one. That's a, yeah. that's a good one. Because imagine how much shit you forget just because there's so much stuff Dude, coming back I in. I forget fucking everything. Yeah. That's why God gave us good girls. For real. Power remembers everything. Yeah, I know. Or good. they write it down. You yeah, can that's use... the, yeah, that's the thing. She writes it down. <laughs> you can do that and be a detective. Oh, también. I mean, if it pays enough. What am I supposed to say? <laughs> it's true. Fight crime. That That is a good one. Being able to retain like everything. But you want some Marvel powers, dog. Uh, we want some Marvel power. We don't want none the of boys. That. Yeah. <laughs> the guy with the big ass dick. Yeah. yeah the long one. Yeah. What the f- <laughs> Did you ever watch the boys? Oh, no. no. <laughs> he watches Mrs. Silly. Yeah. I <laughs> can oh, just extend his penis. Uh, what the fuck? Probably the, the miniature guy. The, 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 uh, like like Ant Man? Like Ant Man. Ant-Man? Yeah. But without the suit, he just does it like naturally. He just does it. Mm-hmm. Oh. I want some uh, some magneto powers, bro. Metal. Yep. Control metal. Mm-hmm. Control everything. Basically, now. It's one of the more powerful ones. Control everything. Or read minds. Nah, that's not uh, that cool. That's not that. I before, but I would. I would I mean, have one. I guess that, it but... would help for like negotiating and stuff. Yeah. Reading minds. What's the lowest he's gonna go? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You want to go lower than five dollars? <laughs> Am I gonna get this job? <laughs> uh, let's, let's pick a new one Damn you're skipping over some Were some of them not that good No they were actually pretty funny <laughs> <laughs> What would you do if you hit if, What are we going to do I'm going to rephrase this one Because we are going to hit this goal What are we going to do when we hit 100k subscribers 100k subscribers oh, That's 100k Damn, that's as many people as fit at to Rose Bowl Stadium. That's a lot of people. I'd get Vivek and Wobbles tattooed on my neck. On your neck? Yeah. On like your neck. And Mr. Teen style, just right here. Ooh. Should, tattoos? We should do matching tattoos we should if do we get 100K, 100K. 100K? Yeah. Definitely do giveaway. Yeah. I'd uh, give away myself. <laughs> oh, to the boys. Oh. 100K? We should ask them to put us on Times Square. <laughs> yeah. Should just show up to Times Square. <laughs> I am Times Square. Four hundred k. That'd be a big ass achievement. That's fucking huge. huge, bro. Huge. But I don't know. Like, what would we do? Like, as the four of us to, to celebrate? celebrate? Or I guess, yeah, yeah. I think we would start setting up the next goal. You know, reach two hundred k. Yeah, I feel like. I don't know. I think we've celebrated so much together, just personal achievements with each other that it's like, dang, we got another one. I'll do math. <laughs> <laughs> just, I mean, I'm just, pretty sure we were planning something special, yeah, right? yeah. like a giveaway, um, meet and greets, or do like a cool, <coughs> cool party. I'd give away everybody's address. Try to host a party, <laughs> like in downtown or something. Yeah. You invite everybody. Say, hey, come through, buy a ticket, whatever. Uh, yeah, like rent out a club. Yeah, no, that'd be, be like a, a white or no, an, an all gold party. Everybody has to wear gold. Oh, hundred, hundred k. Yeah, I don't know. Give us a we suggestions in the comments. Ooh. I mean, I'm pretty sure it'll be shocking when we hit that like, goal today. I mean, this, this year, this year, yeah, we're almost at four k. I mean, you can't. Yeah, we are. If we have those viral reels, viral reels, viral, viral, they just need to translate it to the. Subs, hey, because we do have some viral reels, they just don't translate into subs. We have a good view subscriber 
ratio. ratio. Yeah. We do. Thank you for everybody that's following. We love you guys. Uh, if your life was a TV show, what would it, what would be the theme song? Uh, but first pause, because I got to pee. What the fuck did I put my phone about? Estás bien pendejo, Mario. Pa pendejo no se estudia. Y de todos modos se reprueba. <laughs> All right, so a song, like a theme song, like uh, for my life? What was it? For your life. For your TV show. If you had a TV, TV show, show where you are the main character. But is does it have to be? <laughs> it's hard because I've I've thought about like my baseball song, you know, like the one like the intro song when like you choose a song. Oh, when your you walk, walk up out. song. Yeah, you know, song. you know what's what a TV show has a bomb ass uh, theme song is um, Ballers. Da-na-na. Oh, that's uh, Lil Wayne. Da-na-na. Yeah, yeah, that, that song goes cool. hard, dude. Yeah. And there's Wayne. a lot of classics. I feel like I would want my own song. But right? I would want my uh, own are song. Are we choosing songs? From sitcoms already, or just a song that we think? I think just a song that you would think. So, but like going kind of like I think gearing towards like what you were saying, Jesus is like I would want it to be kind of like the Office theme. Yeah, Office putting that's like that specific song, or like similar. I think similar, like Making that your feeling. own version, right? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like if I had my own TV show, like I would want my own little jingle yeah. versus having like Seinfeld status. Yeah. I think mine would be like more like a cumbia. Like a someone a kill Yeah, but I don't know if I want it to be like a like a cumbia sonidero, 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 whatever. Or like a Ankeles Azules type of cumbia. Mm. Okay. I'm going straight up. Mm. We're going for it. I didn't know it had such a long intro. <laughs> and, then like, and then you'd see me walk into the room <laughs> like both that, ways. It's working. <laughs> like you see Emma like, like okay, okay. why dad? It's like more of like what genre <laughs> your TV show would be at that point then. Yeah. It's it's a it's a sitcom. Yeah, I like my like I really like the abuelita. Soy su nieto. It's the ice machine. <laughs> y ya llegué. <laughs> Soy Mario. Y ya llegué. I would want mine to be kind of like anime type, mm-hmm. where it's like just like fucking, like like it's like fucking uh, instantly goes hard. Yeah, Zero like hundred. Um, what do they call like a uh, like a band, not orchestra, like like oh, a whole okay. orchestra, like doing like all the tan 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 tan, tan. like just like epic, you know. That'd be pretty dope. But I make my own version because I was thinking like um, I don't know you guys I know you guys don't watch it but like the Attack on Titan theme song that's like one I can really think about or One Piece but they're just like epic this is just going to be an adventure pretty much so that, that's all I'm thinking about I'm going walk it like I talk I'm going Sonidero I think I'm going to go Sonidero I feel like that feels my vibe <laughs> <laughs> alright and the next one is and there were, there were a few we just had to skip through some but uh, for the sake of time what is your guilty pleasure song? Or songs in your case, really? Yeah. So I didn't just hear this song, but I it came up. So my guilty pleasure songs always I listen to them when I'm doing cardio. Mm-hmm. That's because I can get into the rhythm. Mm-hmm. They're catchy and th- they just get me in some kind of mood. That's a weird way to say it after I say the titles of these God songs. Damn, you're having sex at the gym. No, right? no, 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 no. Mm. They, they, they just, they just like, they like put you, you in a certain they, mood. Yeah, yeah. They put you like you, you sing them. Yeah. Now, all guys sing these songs. Like I'll, I'll, I'll say them right now. But give me a quick second. I know that half of them are like Carol G, and and then one of them, one of them's a song Carol G and Nicki Minaj. And Nicki Minaj. And Nicki Minaj. Is it Nicki Minaj? Or is it Cardi B? I don't know. I can't think of it. That's a crazy-ass oh, collab, bro. Bro, they have a song together. 
Well, this one's looking. Jesus, do you have yours? Yeah. Um, I like. I like to. Koji and Nicki Minaj. Oh, yeah. oh sh- sure. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, uh, I didn't. I forgot that wasn't uh, Nicki Minaj. Bro, that was a big ass song too. That song goes hard. <laughs> you jump roping, and then that <laughs> song comes on. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> One that I have in my library that I listen to often is a song from Tarzan, and it's "Son of Man." Uh, I know, I know how it goes, but fuck. Uh, ah, I forgot. No, it. play it. Yeah, you gotta play it. Oh, that's like that's the opening the, scene, right? They're running through the vines. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. there's like the drop. Phil Collins, bro. <laughs> Mm. That shit goes That's hard. Classic. The whole Tarzan yeah, tra- the soundtrack whole goes fucking hard. Phil Collins, yeah, Phil Collins, yeah. Phil Collins dude. is busting, bro. I don't know what's better, the movie or just and the I soundtrack. And the version in Spanish because I didn't know he so- he sang him in Spanish as well. Hijo de hombre. <laughs> yeah, it's literally that. Oh, really? Hijo de hombre. <laughs> and it's the same. He sings. <laughs> oh damn, Phil <laughs> Felipe Collins <laughs> for the win. <laughs> That's my guilty pleasure songs. Yeah. Like just Phil Collins, the Tarzan album. That shit goes Damn. hard, man. That's a good one. What about you? Uh, so everybody knows I'm a sad boy. I fucking love to <sighs> sing, dog. But my guilty pleasure song is "Love" by Keisha Cole. I know you guys have heard this song, yeah, dude. But it's like I just can't think of it on the top of my head. It's like one of those like old like two thousands, yeah. bro. I sing You're this shit out the window. I sing this shit top of my lungs in my car. I don't give a fuck who's looking at me, but I only listen to it in my car when I'm alone. What's this? What? Think that I It kind of reminds me of like um, I Brown. like to listen to a lot of Kalimba Because his songs are like depressing I'm not even depressed I know, <laughs> But they right? just like They're just good Bro, It's because sometimes On the drive home Like you're like You get into Like the next song is like Oh damn Like I should Drake, mm-hmm. Camila, yeah, Kalimba is like, and you get into that mood, then you get home, and then you're just like, okay, it goes away, yeah. And it's happened to me where right away I go out, and it's like blasting on my stereo, <laughs> and then suddenly just looks at me like, yo, what's going on? <laughs> what with you? are you okay, dog? <laughs> yeah, because I don't think I've listened to like if I have Pam around or anyone, like I don't think I put it like myself but like if i'm ever alone i listen to those songs even though i'm not in a bad mood or anything it's like they're just good songs to sing or like just to hear and sing i sing them when you guys sing songs do you guys like do you guys like get into it like full on performance or no. do you guys just sometimes is it alone though or is it like yeah alone yeah. yeah it's always on my car ride home and i'm if i'm singing i'm like still staring straight so it kind of looks like i'm just talking or in the shower i don't sing in the shower no no, no i have I have like uh, made up fights in the shower. Like, <laughs> 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 well, it's because you got to put the volume up. That way yeah. no one's hearing you. They just hear the song and you're just Bro, singing. Imagine I, half of my showers <laughs> happen at, at my jujitsu gym. <laughs> 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 they just start hearing like Drake in, in the shower full blast and then I'm yeah. singing. Hi. Oh, I actually yeah. thought of something I'm else. the problem. It's me. I also, my guilty pleasures, I would say songs or genre is like old, like, like NB writers, MC Magic, like those type of songs. Welcome, Welcome to Magic yeah. City. Yeah. That's why I think I was like thinking about that earlier. I was like, nastyboyrecords.com. <laughs> <laughs> I love that shit, dude. Yeah, they're classics. And yeah, they're sick. It's funny because like maybe I don't have them in my playlist, but once I hear it, it's like, oh, I need to add into my yeah. library so I can listen to it later on my own time. I think everybody listened to them, right? Yeah. It doesn't matter what type of kid you were. No, because it, it, it all we we didn't they have were universal. Well, the, we didn't have like a Spotify and shit where mm-hmm. we could choose our own music. It was just whatever was popping on the radio, and maybe if you liked a specific were artist. Were they ever on the radio though? And be yeah. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah, they were on like on Z ninety. What was yeah. that? There was 933. 933, and there was another one. 98.9. Was before, it for oh, the Blazing 98.9? Yeah, yeah. before, yeah. before that was they, an old one. Yeah. yeah. It was I those remember, three. I see. I remember that one. So I like, remember the first time I told my parents to put like uh 
an American radio station because uh -huh. they're always 104.5. Sí, Radio Latina. Radio Latina, baby. Siempre joven, siempre fina. Mm. Damn. Mi mini conciertos on, on Thursdays. Then they had a, the 4 p.m. or 3 p.m. Luis Mi Hour. Then, <laughs> then at 7 p.m. you get Romina who's been on the air for like 40 years, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and then I told him like, hey, can you can you check? Like, I want to see if there's a certain song playing on this. It's like really one song playing on this. And it happened to be that it was playing at that exact moment. I was just like, oh. Would you guys ever call into the radio and request songs? Never. No? Never. GB? No, what? I'm sorry. I was looking request for Request songs at the radio? I did it a couple times uh, when Daddy Yankee was popping. And Dang, he took out new songs. Solina. Yeah. We got Solina or oh, there was another one. The just his classics. <laughs> but I remember calling Can you guys play Kulo? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Culo by Pitbull. C-U-L-O. Tiene tremendo culo. That's Pitbull. That's what I said, Pitbull. You said Daddy Yankee. Oh, I then said I said, Yankee. yeah, but then I said oh. Pitbull after. <laughs> you changed the artist. Yeah. Damn. Good times. Dude. Remember Great the times. radio? That the radio. Crazy, dude. I, I feel mean, so I old right now. That, like, that, that, that still was... exists? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not the same. Fucking Gina de Latina. I feel like that's the oh, only way. Oh, I forgot about Gina de Latina. I feel like that's... Oh, she's still on. Yeah. yeah. I think I saw her in front of my house one time. Really? But like in the gas station. <laughs> Yo, remember when we did that fucking that Z90 thing? Oh, the... the no, it was the channel... Oh, no, oh, Z90. It, it Z90. Yeah, Z90. Was it Z90 or Channel yeah, 93? It was, it was the epic 48 hours. Yeah, and, and we, we had to do like challenges. We reached the final and we didn't win. Yeah. So the towards it, we had to do like all these things and post them like on our social media uh, and Jesus and I were trying to win it, but the last thing was like if they picked you, you have to be like so the thing packed up and ready, yeah, to go. packed up and ready to go. Like when they picked you up, but you didn't know where they were taking you, so it was like on an adventure or like they were like sponsoring something. So you had to like dress for like something cold, something hot. Y me acuerdo que el, el día antes le dije a mi papá lo que estaba haciendo, and he's like, "Dad, estás bien pendejo." <laughs> <laughs> and we had to wait. It was like a Saturday. And I, I like spent that. the night at Jesus' house, and I had slept in the garage, and the whole night, you I was, like, there with my maleta. I was, like, we're getting picked, we're getting picked, yeah, we're getting we picked. Yeah, we had to wait till, like, I think it was, like, 5 in the morning or 6 yeah. in the morning when they were going to announce it. And they texted me the night before, hey, be ready at this time in case we, we arrive at your house. Damn. Yeah. That yeah. I feel like that and what ended that up ago. happening to those no. people? They oh, went I and I mean, good went. thing we didn't go to that one because it was it felt like more of a. <laughs> they went cup. to the Epstein Island. <laughs> no, so they went to different countries. They went to like yeah. Argentina. Damn. Like they did like a bar, like a country. A bar hop. hop. Yeah, <laughs> country they just hop. took it to this gas lamp. But it was a lot of like uh, romantic spots. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they changed it up because it was a couple in the end, but. Oh, so yeah. they went to like Argentina, Brazil, Colombia, like uh, different. Spots. No, it was a dope Leave ass me. like Leave thing. Yeah, like if we would have won, it would have been sick as fuck. Yeah, right. so it would have been cool, but I mean, who knows? Columbia. What if we were a gay couple? And I, know, just... I think they still do it. Maybe I need to look into that. Bro, we should try in. to win it. Yeah. Epic 48 hours. Shout out. That was Clipping fun. That. <laughs> Clipping that for them. <laughs> Remember me? Remember me, fool? <laughs> From like 2012. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was a long time ago. It was, Damn. yeah. 12 years ago. <laughs> Starting to feel old, man. Been rubbing my knee because it fucking hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's gout or if it's because I've been working out. I feel the back pains. I feel the spots in my hair, losing <laughs> hair. Shit. That's how I'm letting it grow. I was like, that way you can't see. <laughs> you can't see. You have to cover it. Just comes with the comb over. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> but those comb overs that are hiding the bald spot that you, right. you can tell, but you don't want to say it's gonna shit. Be a, it's going to be a bald spot right here, and he's just going to grab a man bun to cover it. <laughs> Coming to the pod looking oh, like a fryer. No. <laughs> No, it's more frontal. So if, if you start balding that way, like towards the back, like the front, yeah, front going back, would you shave it off? No, I mean it's already kind of happening. I don't know, but there's still hair in there. But is your dad bald? He's. I feel like every time I see him, he's wearing a hat, so here. I never know. Like, I think up here. Yeah, he's like, like balding. He's right here. But it's a. My mom tells him to shave it off, but he doesn't want to. Nah, and I don't think where he works at it would be. Like I mean, if it's bald, that's fine. Like, I would say I would actually it, it would just it would just have to. It would take some getting used to. Yeah, because I feel like your dad's had the same haircut forever. Would you guys? Yeah. Would you guys go bald? Oh, if bro, you had to? I've I've been trying to go bald forever now. Really? Yeah, I love it. Why? Because you don't have to pay for haircuts. <laughs> and then I I just like, like this, like the right clean, yeah. yeah, just no shampoo, conditioner, yeah. just straight up. 
Well, actually, I think you still I have do, to shampoo. I think you no? still have to yeah. shampoo. Ooh, yeah. Lotion. You lotion your head and put sunscreen all over your head. I got a big ass head, dude. I got a yeah. fat dog. I'm down to do like a two all over, but. I used to do that. It was always two and three. It was three and two. I'm embarrassed when I had to buy hats and I wear hats a lot. That's why I wear the snapbacks. But even then, it's on like the last little hole. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Like Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs> Help. <laughs> ah, fuck. But anyways, guys, we're going to start wrapping things up. We've been going for a minute. You got a juice quote? I do. This Fuck. one's from Albert Einstein. Learn from yesterday. Live for today. Hope for tomorrow. The important thing is to not stop questioning. Live con huevos. Live con huevos. Every fucking, every, every quote is just basically a con huevos quote. It is. Technically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean that's what I look for but <laughs> but anyways guys uh, thank you so much for tuning in uh, we hope you enjoyed today's episode don't forget like subscribe mm-hmm. comment rate Todo. share and next time you guys come back and it's a talk and talk there will be some comadreandos we just didn't have comadre para to read them so there are some comadreandos thank you for everybody who submitted some Q&A's maybe we'll do another Q&A around next time we'll finish the ones that we didn't read today I'm actually yeah. I should probably, screen, a couple more. probably screenshot those um and we'll, you guys will have a comadre in the next time for show. So we hope you had a great February because I'm pretty sure it's the end of February. Yep. One more week. Yeah. We got oh. one more week because it's leap year. Oh, I'll see, but is it on a Tuesday? Yeah. So the 20th. Today's the 20th. So next it's going to be the 27th. Damn. Yeah, and then it's March. We get one more. Yeah. And it's Dude, March. This year's flying. And then I leave. Bro. Ooh. Mm. To Italy. Yeah. Italy. What's that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Inside joke, guys. But, anyways, uh, thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Again, we, uh, actually, I was going to say we love you, but that's the end. Uh, como siempre, guys, live your best life, fight your fears. At the end of the day, the only thing you, have, you regret are the things that you did not do. So, vive con huevos, guys. We out here. We love you. Peace. Live with eggs. Bye. Wait up. Bye. That's the <laughs> part. Oh, yeah. <laughs>